Fissure is a medical term with several different meanings. In dentistry, it refers to the grooves located on the occlusal or masticatory surfaces of teeth. In contrast, the elevations are called humps. Teeth generally have a main fissure that runs in a longitudinal direction, known as the longitude fissure. Analogically, the many small fissures that run laterally are called lateral fissures. The relief of tooth surfaces develops in a fairly similar manner in every person. However, small differences do exist. For example, some fissures can be very narrow. This animation shows the cross-section of a normal fissure, which can be easily cleaned with a toothbrush. This animation shows the cross-section of an abnormal fissure. Although the difference is minimal, the effect is significant. Because of these small differences, some people develop caries easily, whereas others never suffer from fissure caries. Leftover food and caries causing bacteria can penetrate fissures easily. In very narrow fissures, the leftovers and germs cannot be removed with a toothbrush. Furthermore, the enamel is usually thinner in these locations. As a consequence, the bacteria attack this thin enamel and penetrate deep into the crown, resulting in fissure caries. Diagnosis of fissure caries is difficult because they are often externally invisible. The enamel surface can be fully intact. Furthermore, dental diagnosis is complicated because of the narrowness of the fissure. Even x-rays are inconclusive because the enamel coat partially absorbs the rays, and small, carious lesions frequently get overshadowed. Therefore, if a fissure is threatened by caries, the dentist should seal the fissure with a thin fluid comprised of synthetic resin. This will prevent bacteria from settling in. If the fissure is already infected, it will have to be cleaned and perhaps even slightly extended through grinding. This is called an extended or invasive fissure seal.